IBC families, um, the Brookfield Central uh, Student Services team wants to address you today and give you some information about this ninth grade year. We're so excited to welcome you in and hope that you've been settling in well over the last couple of um, weeks. So to start things off, we wanna introduce ourselves to you. Um, there are four school counselors at Brookfield Central and we work with families um, throughout their four years. So on this screen, you can see what the breakdown is for that alphabet assignment. Um, Mrs. Devine is actually out on maternity leave until the beginning of term two. So the other three of us will be helping any of her students that have needs along the way. Um, so Mrs. Devine typically would be A through F. Mrs. Primo typically would be G through LE. Um, I'm Ms. Lemke, I have students with last names LI through RI. And Mr. Grow has the end of the alphabet, last names RO through Z. Now, I also wanna show you how you can get in touch with us. Students are welcome to set up an appointment so that they can talk with us about any of those needs, whether it be academic, personal, social, or career or future planning around um, any of the educational opportunities after high school. So on the Brookfield Central homepage, students just need to go to their students tab and find student services. After you get to the student services uh, space, on the top right corner, you'll be able to click and view the, the page that again shows that counselor breakdown. And we all have a Calendly link here. There's a link to say schedule an appointment. This opens up a link to our calendars that allows you to choose a time that works for you and a time frame that works for you. So for instance, you just need a quick check-in, you have some questions about maybe launch for junior year, you select a date. And once you select that date, you can see any available appointment slots. Clicking on that time that works for you adding your student information, or if you're a parent, the parent information, um, will then go ahead and create a calendar invite that acts as a hold on our calendar, as well as a pass for the student to leave class and come and visit with their counselor and student services. Student services is located across from the library. We also have wonderful student services support members, our school psychologist, Ms. Katricious, who works with students who um, may have more intense needs or may um, want to delve deeper into um, some of the services that are available, as well as our students with IEPs. Um, Mrs. Lahodic is our school social worker. We share her with Wisconsin Hills, so she may be a familiar face to some of you coming up from that school. And Mrs. Farley is our director of college at career and life. Um, and many students end up meeting with her in their junior and senior year as they're exploring additional options for their life after high school. You can set appointments with each of these individuals in the same manner and on that same page that you just saw for your school counselor. Now, Ms. Ferschel is a name that you will all get to know over these four years. She is our student services administrative assistant and the friendly face that you will see if you ever walk into student services or call our main phone number. She can help with many questions or help direct you to the resource that you most need. Um, the phone number and her email address is there as well. She's great. Um, we have also already kind of covered exactly how you can schedule an appointment with us if you have any need, but we really want to highlight for both students and um, families that there are some needs that can't wait for an appointment. Needs for in, in that instance would be things such as um, a student can safety concern. We definitely know sometimes students are the first to hear if a friend is um, having suicidal thoughts or in a really um, tough state. Um, we also know that families sometimes have more urgent needs or have something come up and they want someone to, you know, check in with a student right away. Neither of those things need to go through our appointment service, but instead we would ask you to either call or have a student come in person to student services right away. Um, you also already kind of got a glimpse of the student services webpage. There are myriad opportunities for you to research and learn about the many opportunities Brookfield Central and Elmbrook schools offers to students. 
Um, so we do encourage you to check out that website in greater detail. Um, we also have a Twitter page and we try to post timely updates there as well when there's something going on. So the whole point of today's message in this video is really to help students think about their overall academic and career plan. Um, high school is a time to really finalize and deepen those self-reflections, the, the question of who am I, what do I like, what am I great at, what do I want you know, for myself, um, and to think about where I want to go after high school. There are many opportunities during these high school years to take advantage of that. But that's different for every single student. Um, if we were doing this in person, I would actually have a pause here and have you guys all stop and think about what success looks like for the ninth grader um, for whom this message is intended right now. Um, so instead, I'm just going to encourage you maybe over dinner today um, or sometime, you know, in an upcoming time together to really have that explicit conversation with this ninth grader. What does success look like for them? Is it being close to family? Is it having a job someday that's rewarding and feels engaging and fulfilling? Um, is it a dream of being a helper, you know, being in a profession or living a life of service? Is it, you know, staying close to a faith or a belief system? What are those pieces of success? There are usually many um, so that you have that in mind as you're thinking about the opportunities that students can take advantage of in high school. Now, we also ask that you really think about what do students want to be doing with their time? Sometimes they focus a little, almost too much on what they, the noun of what they want to be, like I want to be a doctor, but they don't always think about what actions or day to day that really looks like. So if students really struggle to talk about that as part of that success piece and that future piece. Um, we do have one tool we want to highlight today that um, the district offers, which is called Zello. It is an opportunity for students to really dig into some of those future careers, learn more about what um, their day-to-day -day would be like if they were actually in that job. What kind of training would they need to be able to be employed there? Um, what academic preparation, what experiences in high school would they need or would help them in that pathway to be successful there? So we do encourage students to check out Zello it's in their My Elmbrook tab, and all they have to do is log in there and click on the Zello icon, and they're in. Parents, we know sometimes you want your own access. Um, any of you are more than welcome to have your student just go ahead and bring up Zello and look over their shoulder. It's a great opportunity for really strong conversations. Um, but if you are interested in getting your own access, you would just need to navigate to this website or use the QR code available here, fill out the form, um, and we will send you an opportunity to enroll yourself. And now I'm gonna turn it over um, to, I think, Mr. Groh. Yeah, this is Mr. Groh, and I'm gonna start by talking about graduation requirements. Um, and I would talk a little bit about the three things you need to be able to graduate. The first is you need at least 24 credits. Um, over the next four years. And it's easy to say that most students easily earn that 24 credit mark with having a block schedule. Then there are certain classes that you need. You can see over here a variety of the different classes, everything from English through financial literacy. And it tells you how many credits that you need for each to be able to graduate. Now you'll notice that our graduation requirements may be a little bit different than two and four year colleges. All our graduation requirements are the minimum requirements for two and four year colleges, but some maybe more competitive colleges may want to see a little bit more. You'll also notice too that world language is not a graduation requirement, but is often recommended or sometimes required by colleges. In addition, the last thing that you'll be looking at is the Wisconsin State Civics Exam. Now freshmen, I want to highlight one thing on here for you. You'll notice that the social studies requirement is 3.5 credits because there's one additional course that you'll be taking that your siblings may not have taken if you had siblings that gone through here. It's either human geography, which is a half credit, or AP human geography, which is one full credit. So we mentioned the Wisconsin State Civics Exam. This is something that students can access at any year in Canvas, you can take this test as many times as you need in order to be able to pass. 
and you just need a score of 65. There's four modules, 25 questions each. With a score of 65, you pass. And then what happens is on your transcript, it will show that you met this requirement. So this is a really interesting tool I would, that can help you look at your graduation requirements yourself. So if you go to Infinite Campus and click on Documents, and then after clicking on Documents, click on Academic Plan Progress Report, you come to a screen that looks like this on the left. Um, if you keep it as it is with Summary and PDF, and then click at the bottom Generate Report, You'll come to a screen that looks like this, and this is actually a screen for freshmen. So you can see that on here, it has all the graduation requirements. Anything in red means that's still requirements that you will be looking to complete, which makes sense because you're a freshman. But you can also see that there are some requirements that this freshman has already completed, and those are the green marks in here. So this is a great tool to use periodically as you go through your four years to see where you stand with your graduation requirements. Now, this is a document that's very important. This document is used for all post-secondary options, whether I'm thinking of college or apprenticeship or work. And what this is is called your transcript. You'll notice on the top left of the document is your GPA, and that's your overall GPA which means that, as you can see in the middle of the transcript, all your courses and grades are averaged out to that GPA in the corner. And then you'll notice on the top right, it's your credits earned, and I'll tell you where you stand. A uh, thing that often comes up as a question is, what is not a transcript? So you'll notice attendance, behavior, activities are not. This is just a picture of your academic profile that you can use for future opportunities. I want to talk a little bit about schedule changes and provide some clarifications. So if I'm in an honors course, I have up to five days to drop down to a regular course, provided there's a seat available in that class for me. I have up to three weeks to drop down for a study hall, six weeks if it's an A and B day class. Anything after that three weeks, if I drop the class, will be an automatic F. And importantly, once a term starts, you're not able to new, add a new class. So we are in term one right now. We can't add any new classes for term one, but you still can look to make changes for term two, three, and four. All changes must go through the schedule change form. That form can be found online in the Student Services website that Mrs. Lemke had pointed out. There's also hard copies in Student Services. There is something out there called the Academic Planning Site, and this gets updated every year. It's a one-stop shop for everything that you want to know about scheduling. So if you have questions on the schedule, schedule timelines, on launch, all those different things, this is a way you can access that. We wanted to highlight that because there's another tool in Infinite Campus that's your course planner. And you can go in at any time now and start planning out your next three years. You can put classes in, you can take a look at those classes, and then make a decision on whether you want to make some changes or not. You got plenty of time. What you put in your course planner, though, will become your schedule. And this is our free ACT preparation for all freshmen. You don't need to register. It's a computerized test that you will take on your Chromebooks. It's called Pre-ACT Secure. So basically it has the same components as the ACT and students will be notified and parents will be notified when the testing dates are in the spring. And now I'll turn it over to Mrs. Primo. Hi everybody. So I have some tips for our freshmen. Um, one thing we really want to instill in you is the ability to advocate for yourself. Now's the time. If you don't know something, please ask. Ask your link teacher, ask your teacher, utilize your school counselors, stop by the front office or athletic office. We're all here to help you. But if you don't know, please ask. Um, one thing to keep on your radar is just your graduation requirements. What we just covered um, is something that's very important. 
Our goal is to get you to that 24 credits and beyond. Uh, it's your job as a student to continue to monitor your graduation requirements. One thing that's really important as well is getting involved here at BC. About 98% of our student population is involved in some sort of sport or activity. Um, I wanna take a moment to direct you to our athletic page. This is an incredible resource for students. If you have interest in trying out for a fall, winter, or spring sport in the future, you can click through this and find out who the coach is, what their contact information is. A lot of sports will have something called open gyms, which would be important for you as um, an athlete to get involved as soon as possible. So reach out to those coaches. We will have a winter information meeting, a spring information meeting, all of that is coming out to you um, in those weekly email blasts. So parents be on the lookout for that as well. Another spot would be our activities page. Okay, hang, there we go. <laughs> All right, so students, um, I highly suggest that you jump onto this website and find a club or activity that you have interest in. We have everything in here from ping pong club to pause, which is helping the humane society. We have key club, which is gonna link you up to volunteering opportunities, which is gonna help you build your resume here um, and all sorts of other different clubs to check out. You can see that they have an advisor with their email. You can just email them and tell them that you have interest in joining that club and they will let you know when those clubs are meeting. All right, so another thing would be make sure that you keep a good balance. Now is the time to still be a kid. So making sure that uh, you are not signing up for too hard of classes, that you're not staying up super late doing your homework, but that you do have a good balance. You know, if you are in a sport, making sure that you are taking care of yourself as well. Um, as a student, it's important to be checking infinite campus checking your grades, not your parents checking your grades all the time. Now is the time to take that ownership for yourself and to be going on to Canvas. Of course, that's something that your teacher is going to be utilizing in class. It's important that you're taking the time outside of class to review class material. <coughs> like Ms. Lemke talked about, it's time to start thinking about your future career. Four years may seem like a long time, but I'll tell you one thing, it's gonna go by like a blink of an eye. Um, utilize Zello, utilize your school counselor, start to think about what classes you actually have an interest in, what classes are you liking here at BC, so that you can come to us and have that conversation of, I think I wanna do this. How can you help me show and show me what other types of career paths are out there? We'll jump onto Zello throughout your next four years together, <coughs> but use that to your advantage. And then last is start building your, your resume. All right, so tips for parents. Now is the time to let your student use their voice. Challenge them. If they need to know something versus you calling the school, have them come to school and ask those questions. Um, have them write an email to their teacher if they're confused in class or if they um, need to reach out to the teacher. Encourage them to get involved, but of course, still monitor them. Um, we love to see students get involved with things here, but we, again, want to make sure that our students have good balance. So at home, you're, you are our ears and eyes, and you are the ones that see them. So if they are becoming overwhelmed, please let us know so we can contact the student um, and, and help them out as well. Checking infinite campus for parents is also really important. That's where you're going to see your grades, attendance, um, all of the fees, everything's housed on Infinite Campus. So that's gonna be really important that you have that username and password and you're able to log on. If you need any help with that, please reach out. Of course, watch your email. You'll find that you're gonna to start to get a lot of emails. Um, Mr. Gritzmacher sends out that weekly email blast. It's important as a parent to actually take time to look through that. And of course, teachers will be sending you emails as well um, about what they're doing in class. Please reach out to teachers via email um, if you have any questions about what's going on in class um, or have any concerns. So like Ms. Lemke said, have those conversations at home about future careers. Please utilize Zello. It is a wonderful resource that we cannot speak highly enough about. All right, so how can students get help? Of course, um, as we know, high school is kind of like a roller coaster. 
there's going to be some really strong highs for them, or there might be some lows where they are challenged. They may struggle in class. First, it's leaning on their classroom teacher, asking questions in class. They can go ahead at home if they are struggling with something. Email their teacher at home and let them know that they are struggling or they need help. Lancer block. Let's not forget about that time that's built in between first and second hour. It's 34 minutes that students can use to connect with their teachers that they have this term. And they can do that and go on to efficiency and request the teacher and send them a note. I need help with the last couple questions of my homework. So that's a wonderful resource. School tutoring through our National Honor Society. Us counselors also have access to a district tutor list that we can share with you as well. Um, of course, please utilize us um, as a resource as well. We can help you navigate um, any rough waters or anything that you need help with. Uh, most definitely feel free to reach out to us. Um, here are just a couple dates. So September 23rd is when three week grades are available. I sometimes have parents tell me, you know, high school just flies by, but nine weeks goes by really quick. And so we post up, updated grades at three weeks, six weeks, and then grades become final at nine weeks, at least for a term class. An alternating day course, if your student has that, is going to become final at 18 weeks. So that grade does go on their transcript. So we'll have an updated grade um, on September 23rd. So please be sure to check Infinite Campus. October 5th from 4 to 7.30, we are doing parent-teacher conferences and that's with Meet the Teacher. Again, if you're opening up those emails from Mr. Gritzmacher, you will be getting that information about when those parent-teacher conferences are. October 14th are when six-week grades become available. And then early November, so the end of term one is um, November 3rd. And then first term, any student who's in an AP class as a freshman, first term AP exam sign up and payment will be due towards early November. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other further questions, please set up an appointment with us school counselors. We are your resource. Um, we hope that you have a wonderful rest of your school year, and we look forward to working with you for the next four years.